Hi, this is Wiz from rcmf.co.uk with the latest instalment on my Hobby King Sukhoi SU26 50cc model and the box has just fallen off the shelf behind me but uh, never mind. Right, so um, at this point I've been working on the wiring and uh, I've just plugged the wings in and the horizontal stabilizers etc uh, to check out the radio gear. Now the receiver I'm using is this orange DSM2 compatible 9 channel receiver um, and I'm also using these Hobby King digital high voltage uh, cordless servos um, which are a bit of an unknown quantity there are some reports on the web of them not being very reliable but I like to give uh, these things the benefit of the doubt particularly as they're such good value um, so what I've got here is the orange receiver and uh, I've got two satellite receivers plugged in, also from Hobby King. So let's power on the radio, and I'm using a Spectrum module in my JR9X2 transmitter. So power that on, and then power on the plane. And I'm just going to, uh, there we go. Now, we do have a problem here, if you can hear me above the... Uh, rattle of the servos, the hum of the servos. Watch this aileron. You can certainly hear, if not see, that jitter. And that happens at pretty much all areas of its travel. So you can hold it pretty much anywhere and it will... There you go, you can see it jittering there. Now that needs a bit more investigation I'm going to check the wiring um, I will check the servo I'm also going to plug a different receiver in and see if that makes any difference but that's not the only problem. The other problem we've got appears to be the rudder servo and you're going to need to watch this one pretty carefully I'm going to go to full deflection and release and can you now see that oscillation it's really quite a strong oscillation there. I don't know how well that shows. But that's certainly a problem. And that stays there until you put in some different control movement then it seems to stabilise. But again, go full deflection. Just release the stick, which is fairly aggressive, of course. But it then goes into the oscillation. If I return things slowly to the centre point, everything seems to work quite as it should. But as I say, release that and it then goes into that weird oscillation. So that's two potentially suspect servos out of the five. Um, actually elevator servos seem to work pretty well and as expected. So all in all not good but uh, I'll report back once I've done a little bit more investigation. Now this is quite interesting. I've just rigged up um, a spare spectrum uh, what is that? AR6200 receiver, different power supply here, um, to the aileron that was giving the problems and as you'll see now that's pretty stable, that's doing what it should, I mean yeah there's a bit of buzz but you're always going to get that, but everything's working as it should without any jittering or jumping around so it looks to me like potentially the servo is okay and the problem might lay elsewhere so as I'm running a different power supply here to what I was before, um, previously I was running on this 6.6-volt uh, uh, LiFi pack, and now I'm just on a straight 4.8 volt. So I'm going to check voltage levels, see whether that makes any difference on the orange receiver, um, or whether it is we've got a, wire, a, a, a wiring problem, a receiver problem, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so with the Spectrum receiver and a different battery pack, um, everything's as it should. So uh, watch this space for the next uh, test. So now the situation is the uh, orange receiver's back in circuit. Uh, all I've done for this test is to take out the LiFi pack, put in a 4.8 volt nickel metal hydride pack just to eliminate any power supply issues. And as we'll see, the aileron is bouncing around quite happily with no control input whatsoever. Um, in fact, it's actually worse 
than it is on the uh, six volt pack, uh, six point six volt LiFi pack, which is kind of interesting. Um, so that's something else eliminated. Um, the next thing I'm going to try is um, using the orange receiver with everything else unplugged in case we've got any kind of cross-channel interference. So be back with that in a moment. Okay, now this gets really interesting. So everything is now unplugged from the orange receiver except the power and the uh, questionable aileron. As we'll see, everything is nice and quiet and working as it should. So it rather looks like we've got some kind of cross-channel interference. So I'm now going to plug the other channels in one by one and uh, see if I can see where the issue starts to occur. Well, curiouser and curiouser, um, I said I was going to plug everything back in one by one and I've just plugged in um, one of the elevator halves, it's, uh, it's split elevator, so I've just plugged in one half at the moment and that elevator is now working fine but the jumping's back. Although it's working, it is jumping around. Now if I plug, unplug this hot, so to speak, I can do it with uh, no hands safely, which I can't. So I'm, so I'm plugging that elevator half completely eliminates the issue. So I'm now going to try things like the uh, rudder channel as well, see if it is just one um, servo that's causing the problem or something else. Well, curiouser and curiouser, whilst I was uh, just having a bit of breakfast, I thought uh, of another test I could try, uh, quick and dirty. So I've just completely taken the orange receiver out of circuit and plugged in the spectrum receiver. I've got, at the moment, the only channels I've got in are the ailerons, um, set up as a flapper on on the uh, transmitter. And as we can see, the noise is still there. Otherwise, the ailerons work as they should. But there's something definitely really quite peculiar going on here, um, which is going to need a little bit more uh, investigation. So, um, got to stop playing now and go and do some real work. But uh, I'll come back to this in a while, more later. Okay, it's some hours later now. I've been out and done some real work, and now I'm back on the case. It's given me some time to ponder this particular problem. Um, if you recall, we have glitching on the aileron there, and um, I've been trying to isolate the problem, so it's probably worth a quick recap. The orange R910 receiver has been taken out of the, equ out of the equation. A Spectrum AR6200 has been installed temporarily, and the glitching exists still on this aileron, but only when another channel, any other channel, is plugged into the receiver. So I'm a bit of a loss now. I'm starting to suspect things like wiring, um, but I, I say really I'm at a loss. The next thing I'm going to do in a few moments is to unplug this aileron and plug a different servo into the receiver and see if I can emulate it. If that's the case, if I can, um, I'm still no further forward really, but if there's not a problem there, it doesn't exclude that servo as being an issue, but it does probably get us a little bit closer to the problem. So more in a moment when I've rigged up another servo. The hunt continues. So now, with this, the servo from this wing unplugged, I've, I haven't got another digital servo to plug in unfortunately just yet. Um, but I've just plugged in a little high-tech servo and everything's working as it should and on this servo I've got absolutely no glitching whatsoever it's rock steady and absolutely working as it should so whatever's going on here 
I'm starting to rather suggest the, the, the wiring. So my next job, I'm going to take that wing off and I'm going to take this wiring out and test the servo in isolation. Just to confirm then, with only the one aileron servo plugged in, it works normally. Like normally, and there is absolutely no glitching. So quite why it glitches when something else is plugged in, I have no idea. Again, just to confirm, uh, I've just plugged the rudder servo in uh, up there, which is working quite happily. But as soon as I do so, this aileron starts glitching, and glitching quite badly. Here we go then. The uh, servo is now out of the wing. I've kept the same extension lead in and it's almost um, imperceptible but I can certainly feel it glitching here there you go it's doing it now so it's glitching out of the wing I don't know whether you can actually catch it or not anyway it is definitely glitching so next job is to take the extension lead out of the equation And now the extension leads out of the picture, plugged directly into the receiver, and it's still glitching. I can feel it. 